So are you confused, befuddled? Business analysis, business intelligence, business analytics? And when I toss in those terms, data analytics, data analysis, and data science, are you wondering, oh, aren't they the same? My name is Stephanie Lockman Doucette, and as someone that's been working in and around data for my entire career, I'm happy to share with you my practical perspective on the similarities and the differences of these terms. Now remember, before we get going, if you like what you hear, click that thumbs up icon and subscribe. Let's start with a definition of business analysis. IIBA defines business analysis as the practice of enabling change in an enterprise by defining needs and recommending solutions that deliver values to stakeholders. IIBA goes on to define five different perspectives in which business analysis may be practiced. One might consider these specialties or subdomains inside business analysis. Now, in 2015, IIBA defined those perspectives as agile, business intelligence, information technology, business architecture, and business process management. A few years later, IIBA added a few additional perspectives. The additional perspectives include business analytics and cybersecurity. Now, you may be wondering, business analytics, business intelligence, they sound kind of similar. They both deal with data. And you're right, they both deal with data, but they work with data and they interpret data in different ways. Business analytics and business intelligence are both part of a larger domain of analysis referred to as data analysis. Business intelligence and analytics are both about transforming data into information. The primary difference between intelligence and analytics is what they do with that information, what decisions they are enabling. Business intelligence is about enabling decisions on current operations. Business analytics is about facilitating decisions for future operations. Specifically, intelligence is about descriptive and diagnostic analytics. Business analytics is about predictive analytics and prescriptive analytics. The difference between business intelligence and business analytics really comes down to the scale of analytical maturity within the organization. There are those organizations that do no data analysis. There's no analytics. They're essentially flying blind. Then there's those organizations that practice descriptive analysis. They're always asking questions, well, what happened last month, last quarter? How did this year's operations compare with last year's operations? Then there's those organizations that ask, what's going on and why is it happening? They're really curious. They really want to dig into the understanding about what's going on in their operations. So the combination of descriptive and diagnostic analysis is what we refer to as business intelligence. The next level are those organizations that are asking, what will happen? They do the historical analysis, they develop the trends, and they make predictions about what is going to be happening next quarter, next year, maybe even three and five years in the future but they're always looking forward. And while they're looking forward, they ask and they wonder, what can the enterprise do today to influence the future outcomes? They are doing prescriptive analysis. Taken together, the predictive and prescriptive analysis is what we refer to as analytics. So at this point in our discussion, we have discussed what is business analysis and we've gone through the differences between business intelligence and business analytics. It's time to turn the table. And let's talk about what is data analysis, data analytics, and data science, and how do these relate to their business counterparts? Data analysis is a process of inspecting, cleansing, transforming, and modeling data with the goal of discovering useful information, informing conclusions, and supporting decision making. While the first part of that definition, inspecting, cleansing, transforming, modeling, is a little bit different from business analysis. The latter half of the definition, when it's focusing on useful information and supporting decision making, is business analytics and business intelligence. So if you want to look at the real difference between business analysis and data analysis, it comes down to the context of the analysis. Business analysis and business analytics are focused on problems in the business space. Whereas data analysis and data analytics are doing analytical activities 
in other spaces. They're focusing on social science, natural sciences, health sciences, and other disciplines. Yes, there are some skills that are special to each domain, but in general, the primary difference between the two domains is the context of analysis. So now we've covered five of the six terms, let's take a look at data science. Data science is an interdisciplinary field that uses scientific methods, processes, algorithms, and systems to extract knowledge and insights from structured and unstructured data. It is related to data mining, machine learning, and big data. So there's a few terms that are introduced there that we haven't heard from before, and that is the fundamental difference between data science and data analytics. Both data science and data analysis deal with structured data. The differences come in what happens with unstructured data and big data. That domain is generally reserved for the data scientist, although your more advanced data analysts may also get involved. Likewise, data mining and machine learning is generally reserved for those people in the data science domain, although your more advanced data analyst may delve into those particular problem sets. As with everything, there are unique skills to each domain, but there's also a lot of commonality. So let's put it all together. What do business analysts, data analysts, and data scientists do during the day? It all starts with inspecting and cleansing the data. There's some work that needs to be done to design and maintain data systems and do the data mining and do the cleansing to make it usable because there's a number of different applications out there and they're all using different interpretations of codes and text and you need to bring it together consistently in order to facilitate analysis. So once the data is inspected and cleansed, now it can be transformed and modeled to facilitate the analysis. That's where the logical data structure needs to be defined, the data models need to be prepared, the statistical models need to be prepared. And that's how the different activities tend to break out across the realm of data analysis. Now let's look at who performs what particular task. We are well aware that business analysts function in that realm of business analytics and business intelligence. They prepare reports and users prepare reports. And it's also quite clear that the data scientist tends to work in the more technical domain. They're the ones that are designing and maintaining systems. They're cleansing the data. They're developing the logical data structures and the statistical models to support the machine learning. So where does the data analyst fall? Well, data analyst is kind of right in the middle. They straddle the fence. They do a little bit of transforming and modeling, and they will also support the analysis and the preparation of reports. The neat thing is, is that data analysts can stretch. They can grow into that element of supporting the business and all of the analysis, but they can also stretch back into the development of the models and maintaining of the systems. So the differences between data science, data analysts, and business analysts are subtle. There is a lot of overlap. Let's look at their competencies. This might help clarify things a little bit. Business analysts have a great deal of skill devoted to analyzing the business. They're strong communicators, strong facilitators. They're always working with the business. Data analysts have strong data analysis skills. Yes, they've got some good communication skills as well. They have the analytical problem and solving and critical thinking skills, but they are a little bit more data savvy. The data scientist is the data wizard. They've got deep technical knowledge of the data tools, SQL, R, and Python. Not to say that data analysts and business analysts don't understand these, but the data scientists are the masters. They're the ones that are designing and modeling the data. They're preparing the data for use by others. Data mining and machine learning tends to be in that realm of the data scientist and the data analyst. The business analyst is, tends to use the models. All three competencies work with structured data. And as we've discussed, the data scientist and data analyst are the ones that are working with the unstructured and big data. As for the education background that these specialists have, the business analyst will tend to have a degree in business, whereas the data scientist probably has a degree in computer or data science and or statistics. But as people grow and change over the course of their career, there may be some blending of the skill sets. So let's take a break from the tables for a moment. How does this really apply in the workplace? What you will notice is that large organizations have very narrow descriptions of the various different jobs because there's a lot of people out there and they need to be very well defined. Smaller organizations, there's a little bit more blending, a little bit more flexibility. So if you're working in a small organization, you may have the title data analyst, but you might get called in to do some data scientist work and you might get called into some business analysis discussions. 
Likewise, if you have a business analyst title, you may get called in to learn SQL and learn Python and get evolve more towards the data analyst or the data scientist role. So while this discussion has presented various common understanding of the different roles, you have to really understand what your organization has available and how they want to interpret the different role. Don't get hung up if they want you to stray outside the boundary a little bit. Take advantage of it. Learn the new skills. Expand your skill set. So there you have it. We've taken the time to discuss and understand the differences between business analysis, business analytics, business intelligence, data analysis, data analytics, and data science. I'm also giving you a little bit of insight and perspective about what these practitioners do during the day, where their similarities lie, and where the differences are. It's been my pleasure to share this perspective with you today. My name is Stephanie Lockman Doucet, and this is Progera, the channel dedicated to practical perspectives in business analysis and IT project management. If you like what you heard today, take a moment to click that thumbs up icon, subscribe, and share the video with your friends. Chances are they have the same questions that you did, and they could benefit from this insight as well. Also take a moment to connect with me on LinkedIn, or follow one of my public pages on Facebook. This way you can get the practical perspective directly. Finally, I'd love to hear from you, so if you could take a moment to leave a comment or a question in that section below, I'd greatly appreciate it. Perhaps you have some other idea or some question that you're curious about. Until we talk next time, take care.